Should there be any issues with the cell not conditioning down or if the cell or electrodes are suspected to be contaminated, then we advise the following steps. Ensure the septum is dry and not torn and replace if necessary. Ensure PTFE sleeves are present on all glass glass joints and replace any deformed sleeves. Please make sure you do not use any grease. Check that the molecular sieve is dry and replace or regenerate if it is wet. Make sure the drying tube is completely dry before adding the fresh molecular sieve. Remember to leave a small gap at the top of the drying tube to allow gas to escape from the cell. Good practice is to replace or regenerate molecular sieves every six to eight weeks. Dismantle and clean the cell and the electrodes. Check the pins of the indicator electrode that they are straight and parallel. Should the pins be bent, then they can be gently manipulated back into place. 
Clean the indicator electrode with a small amount of toothpaste to remove any contaminants. Then rinse with methanol. Inspect the generator electrode for signs of damage. Particularly look for cracks in the glass or broken connections at the diaphragm. Remove stirrer bar and the carfisher reagent from the cell to allow cleaning. Add a 50-50 mix of nitric acid and water, mount on a stirrer plate and stir for 15 minutes. Protective caps should be added to the electrodes during this step to protect the connections from corrosion. Once the cell has been stirred for 15 minutes, Rinse the cell with water, then add methanol to the cell and mount it back on the stirrer plate and stir for 15 minutes. Repeat this step twice to ensure all residual water has been removed. Once all residual water has been removed, add fresh Carl Fischer reagent. We recommend 150 ml of reagent for coulometric cells. Reassemble the cell, ensuring all cable connections are made correctly. The cable terminating in the larger connection should be connected to the generator electrode.